What? The fuck you did? Shit, don't even be showing up and shit. Fuck you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. It is time for another episode of Shit Godly Doesn't Get, which pretty much is self-explanatory. But for those of y'all who are new, because I know I haven't done an episode in quite a while now. So for those of y'all who are new, it's pretty much just a rundown as to shit that I don't understand as to why people say or do certain things. Also, a little bit of gameplay for you guys. As I was looking back, I realized that most of my gameplay, most of my commentaries and such over the last couple of weeks have been mostly from Octane. Now, this isn't something that I've planned, but it also isn't something that, you know, that I tried to avoid. So, I'm not really sure, you know, why Octane apparently has come into play so much, but it is what it is. So I hope you're not too bored with the map. Um, this was the only gameplay that I actually have saved up. So, um, yeah, with that, let's get started. Ponytails. I don't understand why gentlemen have ponytails. I mean, I guess to each their own, but it drives me nuts when you have a gentleman who has a ponytail down to the crack of his ass and he's bald on top. Because somebody please explain that to me. You know, if I was bald, I'm just saying, if I was a man or if I was bald in general, I would probably just shave it off. You know, I mean, I don't know. I just don't understand the concept you know, of having a ponytail and then completely bald on top. I don't know. Please explain. All right. Keeping with that, little boys and their tails. I thought this was something that was just happening when I was a kid. You always see, you know, these little boys. That was a thing. You know, like I said, when I was a kid, they had these little tails. It looks like this little rat tail. I don't know. Their, you know, their hair is completely cut, completely shaved, and then they have this little tail. I don't get it. Like I said, I thought it was something when I was just a kid, but apparently it's coming back, and it drives me nuts. I don't understand the whole concept of it. I don't know. It just, is that something to grab a hold of? Like, I don't know. I, I really don't get it. That and a mullet, like, drives me ape shit. All right, baby boys and earrings. It pisses me off whenever I'm at Walmart or, or what have you, and I see a mom and a dad or, you know, together or apart, what have you, and they are there getting their kids' ear pierced, their little boy's ears pierced. Now, I'm not a big fan of men with earrings, but, you know, to each their own, I, it just isn't me. I'm totally old-fashioned. I just don't think that men should have long hair and earrings, you know, I'm not one of those people who think rockers are hot or, you know, what have you. But like I said, to each their own. But if you're going to do that, I think it should be something that's way, you know, you should wait until at least you're a teenager, you know, preferably even more than that, you know, um, 19 or 20. But I hate it when I see, you know, parents and they have their, their two or three year old son, there getting their ear pierced. I don't know. It just, it drives me crazy. It just seems like it should be something that, you know, is up to the little boy. But I don't know. Completely my opinion, my thought. All right, little dogs. For the love of me, I do not understand why people have little dogs. Now, like I said, to each their own. But to me, the purpose of having a dog is to be a watchdog. And I don't understand if people are getting, you know, little dogs as pets or whatever, why they wouldn't just get like a rat or a gerbil or I mean, even a cat. Hell, sometimes people show pics of, you know, of their dogs, and it's like, why didn't you just get a cat? If you wanted something that small, like, why didn't you get a cat? You know, obviously, I'm not one of those, you know, girls or one of those people who, you know, take my dog around with me, my little chihuahua. I don't carry it in a purse or, you know, shit like that. It's just weird to me. Um, you know, for most of y'all, y'all do know I have two pit bulls, and it just seems like... I don't know, but I don't take them anywhere unless we go like to the lake or we're out walking, maybe going fishing to the park, stuff like that. I don't know, just to pick it up and take it with me to Walmart, like that's absurd to me. I don't know, just my opinion. 
All right. Y'all know for the last couple of weeks, well, actually for the last couple of months, I have been sick off and on, off and on, off and on. I don't know why. It's like I've been sick for three or four days and then, you know, I have this cough and this cough lingers for like a month. I'm serious. It's, you know, it's crazy. I'll be sick for a little bit, but that cough, it just sticks with you. But I'll be completely fine all day long until I lay down. Then when I lay down, boom, I start coughing. I'm like, is it because I'm hot? Is it because I'm covered up? What is it that immediately when you lay down, when you have a cold, you start coughing? I don't know. I'm sure there's some kind of scientific reason, and I'm sure I'll get a lot of hate saying, well, this, 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 that, and the other. Well, no, I don't know. That's why I'm saying I don't understand. Oh, all right. Hats. I know that I've picked on you guys, you know, most of this episode, but Let me talk about a man in his hat. To me, there's something very sexy about a man in his hat, especially if it's white. I don't know. It's just my preference. I like a man in a white ball cap. I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, one of those things like somebody's smile or somebody's eyes or whatever. Anyways, I don't understand what the new trend is that's going on, like where guys just kind of wear their hats propped up on their head. I don't know. I just... I don't get that. Like, you know, for damn sure, if you went to pull it down, it would not fit his head. Like, what is it with it being too small, propped up on top of his head? Like, that kind of just defeats the whole purpose to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you wouldn't do that with any other kind of accessory. You know what I'm saying? I I don't understand why, I don't know why you would do it with a hat. It just doesn't make sense to me. All right, keeping with the hats. Why is it that guys wear hats with their tag? Like, am I just completely old-fashioned or I just don't get it? I don't know. I, I, I'm Like I said, I, for the love of baby Jesus, I just don't understand these things. You know, to me, if you're not Minnie Pearl, like, you don't need to be doing shit like that. And if you don't know who Minnie Pearl is, you look her up. Trust me. You know, and I just don't understand what the tags or even the sticker or what have you. I mean, is it to point something out? To let people know you got a new hat? Is it a size? Hell, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of think, you know, when it comes to stuff like this, I kind of relate it to other um, accessories or articles of clothing and stuff. And I'd look pretty stupid if I was walking around with a shirt or jeans or what have you, you know, with a tag on it. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't understand why people do that. And do they realize how dumb they look or is it just me? I don't know. Is it the new style? I don't know. Like I said, I have absolutely no clue. So anyways, guys, this concludes another episode of Shit Godly Doesn't Get, which, like I said, pretty much self-explanatory, just a rundown of things that I do not understand as to why people say or do certain things. I apologize that it's been such a long time since I did an episode. I just kind of got carried away and just kind of really forgot. So (laughs) I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace out. Confirmed. <sighs> well done. That's like a fucking.